Hello guys, today we'll see how AWS Backup will help us to take backup with all the resources whatever we have created and the services we have used in AWS. So before we are moving and uh, uh, doing setups for the backups, let's see what exactly the AWS Backup is. Okay. So what is AWS Backup? AWS Backup is a fully managed service that makes it easy to centralize and automate data protection across AWS services in the cloud and on premises also. So using this service, you can configure backup policies and monitor activity for your AWS resources in one place. So whenever we take any backups, there is also options available in AWS backup where you can monitor those backups, whatever the backups you have taken whether partially backed up or fully backed up and what is the health of that backup, whatever you have taken, all these things you can do in one place. Also, it allows you to automate and consolidate backup tasks that were previously performed service by service and removes the need to create custom scripts and manual process. So what is the benefit and features of using AWS backup? The first thing is centrally managed backups see what it does it simplify backup management uh, simplify backup management from a centralized console to protect your storage volumes database and file systems second it automate backup processes so save time and money with automated backup schedules retention management and life cycle management so we don't have to do anything manually it will be automatically take up so backup compliance organize and refine backup compliance and audits with centralized monitoring logging and alerts so all these things available it does the compliance for that okay and what is this back also the fourth it gives the backup activity monitoring so AWS Backup provides a dashboard that makes it simple to audit backup and restore activity across AWS services. So these are the four benefits and features. Um, there are uh, others also available. So it's very good and as we told, right? Uh, AWS Backup is uh, AWS Backup is a managed service, right? So AWS Backup is a managed service fully managed service or AWS backup is a fully managed service so when you say fully managed service that service whatever you use from AWS it will be completely owned by AWS so we don't have to do anything everything will be managed by AWS okay you don't have to do and you don't have to worry about your backups you don't have to worry about the settings and security and policies and all these things right all these things will be taken care of by the AWS. So let's create a backup plan. And um, before that, uh, you should have uh, account with AWS. Okay. Let me log in to the AWS um, account. I have already logged into my AWS. So if you just go here and search for AWS backup, and you'll get it here. So if you see here, uh, we have uh, the AWS backup dashboard and sure you can find it out uh, how it works. So create, assign and manage. So build backups plans and define. Okay. And if you want to see the pricing, what is the pricing uh, of using these backups, you can just uh, go here and uh, find what are the pricings for each backups you are using. Okay. And if you go down a little bit here, uh, it has uh, backup pricing as well as you can go here for the additional pricing. Okay, so let's go here uh, for okay. So you can select the region, whatever the region you are going to take the uh, use the services. And if I select here Asia Pacific Mumbai, you can see what are the services resource types you are going to use as your backups, right? And uh, it has two types of storage for uh, backups and they're charging for for warm storage as well as the cold storage okay and for you can see here the prices they have given everything is for dollar okay good so now 
if you see here what are the services it supports what are the services it supports it supports amazon ebs ec2 rds dynamo db efs fsx storage data etc okay so you can get all these details here all api documents and everything um, let's start let's go and start creating a backup plan the first thing is you have to we have to create a backup plan so let's go and check in the dashboard and see if we have anything okay so here is the view, overview here so we don't have any backup for last 24 hours zero in progress zero completed and all there is nothing has been restored also so nothing is running so okay so let's go and create a backup plan so here you can see i uh, start with a template and here what we do create a backup plan based on a template provided by aws backup if you want to do from scratch you can select build a new plan so i'm just going to do it from scratch so just give a backup plan name so let's go my i'll give us my ebs backup okay the tag you can provide the name to that uh, i can just give a name here name okay just give ebs backup something i give it here okay and here the backup rule configuration so what it says add a backup rule by defining a backup schedule so what is the rule name just give a rule name here i'll give us same thing my abs backup and here the rule okay so what are the vault which vault you are going to use backup vaults okay so if you want to learn more on this vault what is this backups stored in a specified backup vault. So where the backup stored the backup stored in a specified backup vault we can create your you can create your own backup vault so use a previously created one or store your backups in the vault so what we can do if you have already a backup vault available you can use that a backup vault or you can see here default backup vault is there okay or you can create a new backup vault okay just give a backup vault name here um, I can see my backup vault something like that okay and encryption key so it has um, KMS actually uh, AWS uses this uh, KMS key uh, encryption key okay so select the default one now it is enabled you can add a tag so let's go ahead and create backup vault okay so new backup vault is created and assigned it here uh, so if i go here and uh, select just my backup vault is created select it here so backup frequency so here you have to choose uh, how frequently you want to backup your services or resources hourly every 12 hours daily weekly or monthly Suppose you want um, your production environment and whatever services that are running in production want to be daily backed up. So you can go ahead and select daily. And uh, what it says enable continuous backup for point in time recovery. Um, so it is available for IDS and S3. If you are going to use for IDS and S3, you can enable it. Or if you are going to use something else, you can just press S3. Okay so here um, backup windows um, so recommended is uh, like what time do you want your backup to start you can customize it suppose backup window starts 5 pm utc and you can change the time zone also i'll show you which time zone do you want to start it suppose it's it gives utc currently okay now if you want to start here uh, starts at uh, 8 hours um, backup window starts at 5 am starts within 8 hours okay and complete within 7 days as we are uh, giving a daily so the transition to cold never because uh, uh, as we saw that warm storage and uh, cold storage so obviously the cold storage is, uh, the price is uh, um, uh, less than the warm storage so warm storage is the little cost here so um, if you want to uh, 
store your backups in the warm storage and after a few days you want to move it to cold storage you can use the transition to cold storage okay you can select how many days you want to keep it after that it will move to cold storage so select it never i just uh, just going to for a demo so i don't uh, not showing it here so retention period uh, how many days you want to retain your backups you can give your days suppose i just keep for one day or you can get seven days or if you want month years if you always you can keep it here now copy to destination okay so what destination you want to copy suppose i want to copy to asia pacific singapore as i am my region you can see i am in mumbai region okay pacific asia pacific mumbai so i want to copy the backups to the singapore for the retentions and all so destination backup vault you can use default backup vault okay and um, advanced settings are there uh, same things i'm not going to use for destination so tax you can add it here good so now what we can do you can use the windows vss application consistent backup enable application consistent snap search for the selected third party software running on ec2 if you want you can use it or leave it now so just go ahead and create plan good so you can see here we got a message called backup plan my evs creation successful now if i see if i go my dashboard we can see here okay anyway we have not taken any uh, our backup has not our plan has not started so that's why it, nothing is showing it here so let's go and check the backup plans so you can see here i have my backup plans here my ebs backup okay so it is created today last modified may 27 okay now if i go and check it here and it is using my backup vault so you can see here in the summary the plan name backup plan id version id and when it was last modified okay so today's time stamp here so all these things you will find it here on the here the backup rules what is the rules we had uh, currently set up everything you'll find it here so backup tags we have given it here windows vss is disabled now so okay so we have created our backup vaults also we have created our backup vaults we have created our backup plans all these things are here now how will set up these backups to run and uh, because once we create the backups plan we have to add the resources into the backups plan okay so now click it here what you can do we can add backup rules here okay as i'm going to add the ebs volumes okay ebs volumes so let me start one of the ec2 server and let's see uh, which ebs volumes we can take the backups okay let's see so once the backup plan is created so once the backup plan is created we have to go ahead and assign the resources okay so go ahead here and uh, select uh, resource assignment name i can same thing i can give here my ebs you can just simply give my ebs so use you can use any im role whatever you have uh, currently you can add the im role here or you can use the default im role and assign resources okay so you can include all the resources or you just uh, if you want to go for any specific resources you can select include specific resources suppose i see here are the resource types what are the resource type you want to take the backup so i am just going for only ebs select ebs only and check the volume ids so you can see here we have i have two volumes available here okay i have two volumes available here and i can select all volumes all volumes okay so one second here let me see the volumes here first go ahead and check the volume so these are the two volumes i have and these two volumes are in eos okay so if i go here and check all these two volumes jenkins server and ansible all these two volumes available i just want to take 
uh, back of our list two volumes okay and exclude specific resource id if you want to resource any specific id you can just mention it over here or it's op it's you can see it's an optional it's just optional okay and uh, refine is if you just want to give ads you can just provide ad over here uh, sorry tags you can just uh, add new test give the name to that and all so let's assign resources so your current selection could back up many resources and may have cost implications okay be careful so just continue good so you can see here i just assigned my EBS volumes okay based on the plans it will be backed up if I go here you can see here this is the I am role and all these things will be available here now you can see all these things be backed up now if I go here I can see summary backup names and all this uh, so everything you can find it over here now so it will be copied to Asia Pacific Singapore okay so now you learn how to back up your resources first you have to create create the backup plans based of the backup vaults if you were vaults already created you can use it or you can create the vaults and then after the backup plan is created you can assign whatever the resources you want to add it okay whether it's c2 evs ids whatever resources you want to take backups you can add the backup and it will be backed up okay as it has the features um, available like the monitoring features you can go ahead and use the cloud watch for monitoring okay so if you go to their monitoring pages right it has actually a uh, different monitoring uh, mechanism mechanism they provide like monitoring aws backup events using event bridge and monitoring aws backup metrics with cloud watch cloud trail and all these options are available here so if you are good with this cloud watch you can go ahead and just um, set off a cloud watch monitoring for AWS backup and you can see here the categories what are the jobs you can what are the things you can uh, do the backups okay for the jobs uh, all these are the metrics available uh, completed running averted created uh, just go through uh, this documentation and find uh, many things okay many things available here the metrics you can see it over here number of backup jobs created number of backup jobs pending all these things available here okay okay guys hope you understood what is aws backup and uh, you can go ahead and uh, do practice okay only practice can make you perfect and uh, you know, make you learn more things okay guys so see you in the next lecture thank you if you are not subscribed my channel please do subscribe now you'll get lots of good videos and technical stuff okay thank you